So if you look behind me, there is a service apartment complex over here. So this is a building of a service apartment over here in Korat, Thailand. And not just in Korat, you can find a lot of service apartments like these in many cities in Thailand, many cities and small towns as well. So the benefit of renting these like service apartments over traditional apartments is that you can rent them just for a month as well. So uh, like if you want to live in one city for a month, you can just rent out a service apartment at a very reasonable price. So the service apartment over here cost 4,000 baht for a month. You have to deposit extra 4,000 uh, as a security deposit and you have to pay 100 baht more, like deposit 100 baht more for key. So in total, you can just deposit, give 8,100 baht to live over here for one month. And when you check out, you will get your deposit back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys this service apartment complex over here in Korat, Thailand. There are many like these over here in Korat. Some are 4,500 baht, some are 5,000 baht, some are six and so on. So yes, uh, the prices do differ, but this is one of the cheapest that I could find. Uh, that's why I'm showing this one in this video. And right now I'm just in the parking lot of this service apartment. And there is one more parking over here. So that's the parking so anyway i will show you guys this service apartment in this video but remember uh, there are going to be a lot of service apartments like these spread all across many towns and cities over here in thailand and they are a good option for somebody who is living in thailand for at least two three months they they are cheaper than hotel uh, they are easier to live in and they are generally like comfortable to live in and you so they are good for anybody who is living in Thailand for more than like complimentary coffee over here. So, so as this is a three-story building, uh, they don't have a lift facility. Uh, so if you have problem like uh, climbing stairs you can request a room down uh, usually uh, there are a lot of these uh, in this area at least so there is no problem in finding room so we will check out that room over here and see how the room looks like okay if we took a look inside the room so the service apartment can look something like this. So this service apartment cost only like uh, 4,000 baht for a month. And you get like a wardrobe or cupboard over here uh, to keep your things. A mirror with like a stool and a normal size refrigerator. So yeah, this is how the room looks like. So the benefit of renting this out is that you don't have to have long-term lease. So you can just lease it for one month. And like I have removed my shoes. So yeah, anyway, so you can just lease it for a month and pay one month advance when you move in, like as a deposit, which you can get back. And we got a little balcony as well over here. It's spacious enough. We got a television, a fan, and an air conditioning unit over there as well. So yes, this is how the room looks like for 4,000 baht or like around 120 USD for a month. So the benefit of these service apartments is that you can lease them for just one month. 
you don't have to lease them for three months six months to get a cheaper price like in uh, normal condos or apartments so you just lease them for a month pay one month deposit and when you check out you get the deposit back you pay for the electricity by the meter so one unit is like six baht for electricity and the water can be around 100 baht for a month so that's what you pay for electricity and water in a small service apartment like this one if you want to rent the service apartment while you are in Kurat, you can check the link in the description uh, i will put the google map links to this place so when you uh, if you want to book it it's easy for you that way and these are electricity meters for each room so as you will see so you pay for your own electricity over here and there is a security system over here as well a camera so yes we got few things over here this is a small building uh, with eight rooms on each floor in total there is like uh, 24 rooms and they got free wi-fi as well so which is a bonus so if we check another room i think all of the rooms are kind of same so there is not much difference but yes this is how they look like this does not have a good view because of the trees but over there is a beautiful temple so that's a good thing good view anyway this is what you can expect to get for 120 baht for a month now the good thing about service apartment is that if you want them to change your bed seats or clean your room they can come and clean your room so that's a good thing compared to like renting a normal condo and living in that condo uh, because uh, in service apartment you are getting service so they are going to clean your bed sheets your pillows seats and clean the room if you ask them to so that's like the benefit of living in a service apartment it it does offer you like some facility facilities like hotel but it's cheaper uh, the only downside is that you may have to live in a city for one month if you have to if you want to rent a service apartment so if you are living in a city for one month it's uh, worth it so now as this one is a budget one you don't get a microwave or a washing machine inside this one so if you go for like uh, in budget of at least in Kurat, if you go for a budget of 5000 baht which is like around 150 usd you can get a microwave inside the room uh, the size can be near same but like uh, you can get a microwave and if you go for a budget of like 6000 baht which is like again 180 usd for a month you can in some of them you can get some kind of a like washing machine as well uh, but most of them do have washing machines down so you just put like 20 baht and you can wash your clothes so it's not that hard to wash the clothes in thailand uh, but yes uh, some of them come with microwave as well i have seen them uh, like v59 v51 in kora do have like microwave v51 at least do, do have so in the end i just hope that you found this video informative and if you didn't know about service apartment and how much they cost in thailand this video would be helpful for you and if this video have been helpful for you do subscribe to the channel because on this channel you will find many videos related to thailand and life in uh, life in thailand in general so yes do subscribe to the channel to see videos about life in thailand as an expert i will see you in the next video have a good day ahead i will see you in the next video till then peace